Greetings from the Democratic National Committee summer meeting in Chicago. This is a meeting full of people in politics, and we're going to talk to one of them with Chicago Roots. Joining me now, Michael Blake, who's the vice chair of the Democratic National Committee with a very particular Chicago story. So, Michael, who I've known for years uh, covering politics, can you just tell us your path to politics in a summary form? Because I think it would just be instructive for people who want to know how you got where you are today. Well, it's good to see you always, Lynn. You know, my, uh, I'm named after Jamaican politicians, so it almost uh, started from the beginning. And I grew up in the Bronx, New York, uh, K through 12. Uh, for public high school and public schools, and I, I came out to Northwestern uh, to study journalism, the Dill School of Journalism, go Cats. You know, we're feeling good about where we're going and all that's happening. Uh, and uh, it really kind of set the tone for my life in many aspects. You know, I had a near-fatal car accident in 2001 uh, at the end of my freshman year, and that, that crystallized the importance for me of doing more in service. Uh, finished up, worked in TV at Comcast Sportsnet down here in Chicago, and then took on an internship uh, to work for State Senator Jeff Schoenberg in Evanston. And uh, in the midst of that, I learned of an opportunity to potentially go work for Unite here, here in Chicago. And Henry Tamron, he said to me, you know, if you don't work for us, you should know that there's a training program called Yes We Can, um, that my son Nate is going to be helped overseeing for Senator Barack Obama. Uh, I was accepted into that program in 2006, uh, and that was the beginning. Yeah, I went to D.C., uh, went through that training. They sent me to Michigan to go run state house races. Uh, did the entire campaign, went to Iowa for 10 months. and it, Which that's what is it all began. where we really met. In Iowa. Iowa. Where you it all begins. Day in, day out in <laughs> Iowa, there is Michael Blake. And, and you worked the whole state for 10 oh, months. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. So yeah. I, I directed our constituency outreach program, and right. I was our deputy political director under uh, Emily Parcell. And I was there for 10 months. Arrived on March 3rd, 2007. My first day was March 4th. And we had a trip in Muscatine and, and Burlington in Southeast Iowa, Senator Obama, March 7th and 8th that weekend. And so uh, it all began there. And for 10 months, we did everything we could and we traveled all 99 counties. Okay. And we're going to fast forward. We're going to fast forward a little bit because there's a lot to Michael Blake's story. And I don't want to hold you in suspense. He, will, he is now an elected official in New York in the General, in the general Assembly, the assembly there. Yep, in but, New York. Because I don't want to keep people in suspense. This is this is how his story ends. So, but after Iowa, in summary, what did you do? I, I worked for ten more months in eight more states, and then had the honor of working on both inaugurations uh, for President Obama. I worked in the White House two and a half years as director of African American and Minority Business Outreach and state and local government outreach, uh, and then did the reelection as well as one of the national deputy directors, which brought me back to Chicago. Uh, and so for close to seven years, I uh, was able to be under the tutelage of President Obama. Uh, but then it was time to go back home and had a chance to go uh, run for office and fortunately get elected in 2014 to the state assembly. So you're, you're, you're in like the top five Obama alumni right now who got elected. You're one of the first crop, right? I, I definitely think we were one in that, that first crew myself. And I know Eric Lester, er Eric, we, we yes. got elected on the same day. Uh, but, you know, we have a, we have a great network that's just growing and expanding. And then you decided to take a step to try and get a higher national profile then and you ran for this DNC position. Which was a, a remarkable opportunity. It, it happened after uh, the 2016 election when we don't have the White House uh, is when we have opportunities for elections uh, within uh, the party. Uh, so fortunately we were elected last February in Atlanta to a four-year term to be one of the five vice chairs of the DNC. Uh, you know an incredible blessing. You know you don't you don't grow up at Creston and Burnside in the Bronx and think one day you'll become a vice chair of the National Party. And on that, we'll end it. This is The Path to Politics. I'm Lynn Sweet with Michael Blake, the vice chair of the Democratic National Committee. Thanks so much, Mike. Thank you. Great to see you again.